Hi again, everybody. Dan here. Today, I'd like to talk about um, contracts, or if you have a band, when to get a contract. Try to get a contract all the time if you can. It, it seems a little intimidating, but it's not really. It's very simple. All you have to do is uh, get a, you know, get a, a program on the internet that you can write with, like Windows or um, open office and open a page where you can write letters with and just write a contract right on the top right performance contract and then put the stipulations down say this this band will be playing at a certain time certain day address for a certain amount of money just get it in writing and then sign it you can either sign it with a pencil and date it with a pencil and then mail it to the person or have them mail one to you and mail it back or the easier, easiest way to do contracts, the way I do it, is to get your free Ac Acrobat Adobe Reader, and you can sign, you can take a contract, post it, you know, you can make your contract, convert it to a PDF file online, very simple to do, and then um, use your Acrobat Reader to digital, digitally sign the contract, so you don't have to um, mail it to them. You can just email it to them, and they can digitally sign it and email it back. Or they can do it, and you can sign it and send it back. It's always a good idea to get a contract. Very simple to do. And the reason why you need a contract is to keep people from uh, not paying you. I've had situations where I've played places where we agreed on $300 or something, a certain amount for four hours, and then halfway through the performance they said, okay, well, there's not enough people here, so we're gonna pay you $150 to quit now. And they didn't give me the option of playing the whole time. If I'd had a contract, I could have refused that. And I could say, look, I got this piece of paper with your name on it. And what the contract does is it, it, it makes them pay. I mean, they literally don't have to. They can still ignore the contract. But if you have a copy in your hand, you can take them to small claims court. And they know they'll lose, so they'll pay you to ha avoid having to do that. If it's a verbal agreement, which is still legally binding, they can lie and say you didn't say that. So that's why you want to get a, a contract if possible. Now, the first years I had a band, I didn't work with contracts. I just, what I did was I just uh, would play the show for an agreement and uh, they would live up to it. And then if they didn't live up to it or they canceled us, which has happened several times, next time I would insist on a contract or I wouldn't play. So that's also, also okay to do. I mean, you, verbal contracts are enforceable and it's not a bad idea to do that, but they don't, you, if you sue them, you might lose. If you have a, a written contract, with their name on it, you know you're going to win, so they won't, they'll pay you every time. So if you can get a contract, get a contract. A lot of the 55 plus places we play, they all insist on contracts, and I'm glad they do. <laughs> so anyway, that's what I had to say about contracts. If you can get them, they're very simple to do, and most people will sign them because it protects them and you. So, well, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day.